I just left my buddy's print shop and I got a bunch of stickers made because I was getting really behind with my vinyl cutter because his is a lot faster than mine. And we also talked about a bunch of designs we're thinking about doing for possible t-shirts and hats and everything like that. So stay tuned for that stuff. But in the meantime, I am back, I am now headed back to the garage. Uh, Drew is there waiting for me and so is Adam. Uh, this is gonna, I don't know exactly what we're doing today. I know we have to do a few things with Drew's car and I don't know what Adam wants to do. So we'll see what's up with that. Sorry if this vlogging is a little spotty today just because Adam's in there filming too and when you're doing two vlogs at once, it's kind of weird. So I apologize in advance. All right, I just showed up and Dylan's out here with Drew. What's up, buddy? No so Drew's putting his wheels back on because I took him off to do the brake bleed last night. I left him off because I didn't know if he wanted to lower your car or not, but I guess not. True, about to lower my car. So... I need to go like at least a half of What's the point? So it looks like we're going to lower his car. Uh, and then after we lower it, then we have to do the alignment, which is not going to be too hard. Just a lot of back and forth work. But. All right, Adam's also here. He's on the corner. I think he's messing with his uh, cluster because he thinks his gas gauge is broken. So we're going to pull his cluster just to make sure it works. Do you have an extra cluster? I think if I wanted to test to see if it's a cluster. All right, Adam. So his gas gauge hasn't been working. So we did the first easy thing that was, was we check all the terminals. We cleaned all of them on the gas gauge itself and on the back of the cluster so we're gonna see if that will do it if not we'll just swap out the gas gauge so Dylan and Drew just adjust his coilovers oh. Dylan went a little, little lower than Drew said thank you so hopefully this thing is sitting pretty nice uh, Drew's not gonna put it on the ground until he finishes priming his front end just so we could do it all in one shot uh, and we just tested Adam's cluster and I don't think it's his cluster that's bad for the f so I, we think it's his fuel sending unit Roger and so we uh, hit up Roger, you know, the 240 plug, and we're gonna see if he has one and how much. Drew got his front end off. He's gonna, he just prepped it really quick with the Scotch Bright, nothing too crazy, just enough to get it in one color so he's gonna hit it with some black primer, and we'll tackle that bodywork another day. But he's just gonna send it with some spray cans right now. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that low key look kind of cool if he just threw it over that? Little cloudy? <laughs> I caught up with Adam's car, but Drew finished painting his front bumper and his fenders and then they came out pretty good. Decent for, for primer. Walmart, exactly. Walmart yeah. primer and letting it dry for like a second. We might send it with some Walmart paint later. Damien told me that there's some sparkle that they sell. We might just do rust and black. Okay, so we're gonna, I guess Damien had a good idea. Walmart has this sp spray glitter that they've been using for a long time now and I guess it works pretty well. So he's gonna send a piece of his bumper with rust gloss black and hit it with the glitter to see if we can match this just for the time being because why the heck not? Gonna give it a shot. So Drew just picked up paint. We got the rust -Oleum high performance paint. We got that black, that gold glitter, which is absolutely hilarious because it, look at that. Somewhat resembles. And some uh, some nice clear. So they're gonna try and work the magic. I'm counting on Damien for this one. It'll work, it'll work. And uh, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Color matching with Walmart paint. There you go, hot boy in a can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Nicole got me a pineapple uh, inflatable raft for my pool. It's large. It's quite large. <laughs> Got a little painting in the shade. I'm about to send it with the glitter because he is the glitter master. Wow, that spray's so like that's thick. It's like already done. That's what I'm saying. Like one. That's why I said only one can of this stuff. That's crazy. All right, we really, really heavied up on the gold flake so it matches. <laughs> and now uh, Damien's hitting it with the clear, like, so the flake doesn't come off. It'll be real shiny. This is I'm so impressed. funny. Damien's got the fender, and we're gonna mock it up. It's still a little wet, but go ahead, do what you gotta do for the top. That's insane. Look at that, guys. Matches perfectly. A little hand buff, and that's it. We're gonna call it 240. We're gonna have to take some hand compound to it because when you spray clear, sometimes you get like this overspray look to it. Here, I'll try but to, it always I'm trying to lay at it. See that oh, white right there? Yeah, you see that that always buffs out though. So yeah. even for spray paint. But look at even with the light on it, it matches great. That's so funny. What do you think, RJ? I'm digging it. You're digging it? It's pretty nice. So we've been spending a lot of time on Adam's car now and it is being absolutely ridiculous, the wiring wise. It's basically doing the exact same thing that my coupe was doing the other day when I had to get over it. Now, 
we changed the headlight switch, we changed the dimmer switch, we changed the TCU module, we changed everything that you guys probably suggested for my car and it's still not working. Um, in terms of the speedo, um, in terms of the gauge cluster lighting and everything. So we changed every single fuse in this fuse panel and we're going absolutely nuts. I went to go try and hardwire it like my system just to see if it was the exact same problem. And the one little harness I, I used to hardwire my system was removed on his car because it was converted blinkers. So it's this whole big ordeal and it's being a pain in the ass. But we're now checking Adam's wiring because his wiring is a little chopped up from being touched over the years by a few different people. But we're getting there. I like the pineapple sticker. <laughs> okay, so Adam has this weird splice into his harness and I know it's supposed to be getting power, but it wasn't. So I was very curious at why it wasn't. So I took something that did have power. I sent power straight to that circuit and now his gauge is lighting up. What the hell? But it's now lit up all the time because what I put it into is getting power all the time. So what this tells me, annoyingly enough, is the headlight switch isn't even getting power since the switch I know is good. So we have to figure out, so at least now we know that the power problem is prior to even the switch, which is before a lot of other pieces on here. As you guys might know, a lot of things run off this switch. So DJ, what the heck? So this is really annoying, but this is big news because that means we're one step closer to figuring out what the hell this problem is. And hopefully I can figure out Adam's car because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same problem on my car. So... All right, so uh, Drew, I think they finished his driver's side fender. Yes, sir. And it looks awesome, too. Shout out to uh, the Damien spray this one, too. Yep. Did a great job. Oh, okay. So he's going to throw this one on now, and uh, his front end is almost there. It's crazy how much better your car looks with the front end on. How much more better. How much more better. Yeah, boy. Day 634. I'm still at it. I'm at the point now when I'm tracing every single wire, trying to just figure out anything. Honestly, this is really pissing me off. Uh, wiring is a pain in the ass. I'm really sick of it. Uh, for some reason, I don't think I'm getting any power to the headlight switch. And so I'm back tracing everything. Um, I'm about to just start digging into the fuse panel because the fuse panel is getting power. Uh, so I'm just basically trying to tra backtrack my whole way through until I get to the fuse panel and we'll go from there. But working with cages are cool, but when you gotta work around them, they're a pain in the ass. What the heck is going on outside? We got a ruck. <laughs> oh my god, I think uh, Orion and, <laughs> and RJ are just racing. Here comes, here comes neighbor Jim. Oh. All right, so I think I figured out a temporary fix to get Adam home tonight, because it's getting dark and I know he wants to drive home and having no dash lights and everything really, really blows. So I was able to isolate the wire that is supposed to be power to the switch. So when you turn on the switch, the gauge cluster comes on. So I found a connector and I pulled the old connector, popped it into the harness, if you could see it. And now when I give this, when I give this plug constant power, which I'll count power, hit the switch, and they work. Well, the two bulbs that <laughs> that do work. Two bulbs are out. That's originally why we pulled the cluster, just to fix those two bulbs. And uh, yeah, so now I gotta find a place that's a good safe spot to give it constant power, and uh, we'll be all set. All right, that's Drew. Rubbing on the Drew just got his front end on, and that's so funny. Spray paint job matching a hot boy flake job matches think quite well. Think I'm super nice. stoked. Yeah. <laughs> and this is straight spray paint. If we hit it with a few, a little bit of compound tomorrow, once it fully cures, I think it'll take out the roughness of it, and I think we'll be perfect. I'm so happy for him. His car looks so much better. It is unreal. This color, if your car is not together on this color it looks pretty dookie but the fact that it's together dude it matches good for spray you know? Not just, i really think the whole car is donut good. approved did you pass emissions today it looks so good yeah. now we should get that hood fixed and on and we should be all set Wait, you did. so i was able to find a pretty safe power supply for adam's cluster and i believe we are all set so that finally works still needs to go get two bolts for his cluster which 
brings us straight back to the beginning of the day. But I am very, very happy that we have a solution. Might not be the perfect one, but it works. Perks of, uh, I guess, having wheel no wheel wells here, Andy discovered he could adjust his coilovers without taking his wheel off. <laughs> On the go. On the go. <laughs> so uh, Don just showed up. He just got out of work, and he's doing the final touches on his clutch. I think uh, he's, he hasn't really tightened the subframe yet. He forgot. <laughs> and then he's going to drive home tonight and start breaking it in. And I'm still in awe at how well that front end matches on Drew's 240. I can't wait to buff it and see how it comes out. But it looks really, really good now. I'm, ex I'm really excited to see this car finalize one color. Now we just got to finish the hood, and the cool's out here. Coloring. <laughs> Somehow, uh, Don managed to break a jack stand. How do you do that? Excuse my sweat. I'm, I'm hot right now. <laughs> all right, so my jump pack is dead, and Adam's car is dead. So we're all going to pop start it real quick. <laughs> oh, they're already going. They're... Easy as that. I completely missed it. Battery's a little bit dead. Had to give it the old haggard start. <laughs> Hopefully it stays working. Bye. Later, buddy. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, so I think we're done for today. Uh, we got a few things done. I got kind of stuck doing Adam's car for a while today. Wiring's always a pain in the ass, but Drew's car, Drew's front end is on and painted. It looks fantastic. Um, he's got his height set. We didn't do the alignment yet, but it's almost there. He gets his actual plates tomorrow, so then we can actually have some motivation to get it on the road since now it's legal. Um, but besides that, today was pretty good. Um, I went down to my buddy's shop finally. Got a bunch of more stickers made. I'm really, really sorry for the long wait on some of these stickers, guys. My vinyl machine was giving me a lot of issues, so I had to go down to my buddy's shop and get a bunch of them made. So those will be out very, very soon. And if you didn't know, international shipping is now up. So if you're not in the States and want some stickers, click the link in the description and cop yourself some stickers. And uh, yeah, and uh, a few cool things in the works. Um, I got a few hats print today and I hope you guys like them and uh, you probably saw in the video on RJ's head if you did it rewind and try and find it <laughs> but yeah for now I guess we are done until tomorrow so you guys have a good night like subscribe share comment you know all the good stuff so I'll see you guys later